It is the fall month. The cold prevails. Most of them prefer to stay at home during the season. Like the young calf who is enjoying its favorite show with french fries. And there is his dad who always keeps a check on the place for safety. And always sticks by the family. The mother felt bad that she couldn't understand her husband. The worst situation the rich calf could fall into is being unable to use the toilet on time. But here his dad has witnessed a group of lions assemble to attack their barn. The what? dad immediately ran inside the house out of terror. What is happening to you? Why are you in a hurry? The mother cow then turned to see a bunch of hungry lions assembled to be fed on the cows. Oh no! But the dad thought of a plan. I'll take care of this deer. Before the lion could attack, the dad what? threw the food onto the lions. And the lions were engaged in a terrible competition to eat much food. We should trick them somehow. The mother brought a wooden box where the dad stood and teased the lions about the height. He successfully manipulated the lions. He thinks that he's tall. Come on, stand on me. Let's prove who's tall. A lion stands upon the other and reaches a maximum height. The mother went inside the house and got a much higher table. The dad stood on it and now he's the taller one. Lion by lion kept adding while the cow helped the young cow by adding things. The saga continued and the dad and the mother cow what? were shaken. <gasps> oh no! The young calf successfully attended the nature calls and came what? out to see that the household went missing. The calf quickly got out to see the whole household and his dad on the top. What? Son, go quickly climb on your dad. <laughs> the son announced the trumpet of victory. All the lions fell as a sign of defeat and they couldn't tolerate the trumpet. And the victory, so they ran away from the cow family. It was a pleasant small town where farms were raised. There lived a beautiful cow, who was insecure about herself and wanted to get big like other cows. She wants some food. The more healthy she eats, the more healthy milk she produces. Meanwhile, here's the scientist pig that has experimented with a watermelon and left.
the watermelon has grown overnight. The cow decided to go grazing. slid into a pleasant sleep. But a strange thing has occurred. The cow started to uncontrollably grow giant. The town felt an earthquake because of the cow. Three animals gathered to check the cow and they were truly shocked. Meanwhile, the cow was stuck in the narrow house and began crying for help. I think he must have eaten the giant watermelon, which in turn made him grow like this. Quickly go and get bunch of grass and feed him. I'll have to go and find the antidote to this. The calf and the sheep got three bunches. And the cat failed to feed him in the first try. Later on he thought of an idea. He got a rock and aimed at the housetop and threw. The house received a hole through which the cow brought its face for eating purpose. Now the cow is successfully being feeded. Oh yeah! Meanwhile the pig is trying to find an antidote to cure the cow. The pig got the antidote and now the aim is to feed that watermelon to the cow. The calf successfully threw the watermelon and the cow successfully ate. And within a fraction of second, he returned back to the normal state. The animals felt relieved. There was once a beautiful farm and poultry. In that lived the three hens and their eggs. A calf and a lazy pig. There is also a villain named Foxy. He takes a walk. Sees things and decides to steal or snatch them. What? Similarly, he came across the poultry and farm. He saw the hen and eggs. What? got there and cunningly stole an egg from its mother. Hey, is everything fine? That foxy came and stole my egg. What? The rabbit jumped in and screamed to wake all the animals. We all should rescue her egg from the cunning fox. The animal squad agreed and ran for the rescue. <laughs> oh yeah!
and the rabbit was determined to catch the egg, but he failed. The chase continued, and this time the pig is determined to save the egg. The bridge was very long. All the animals were puzzled. Hey man, go and get that egg safely back. So that's what happened till now. Okay, time to leave. Good job, pals. The animals got back to the farm and returned the egg safe and sound. Hello from our beautiful jungle land. We have a cute little calf here in our land. Let's go see what is the calf up to. Mommy, mommy, it's beautiful day today. And the weather is so pleasant and calm. Can I please go out and play? No, my dear. Not today. Come on, get in and get some rest. All right. not sleepy, but I'll wait until my mom falls asleep, and then go out play, and be back before she is up. <coughs> Looks like she's asleep. Let's sneak out. Go play. But I have to be back before my mom's awake. All right, let's go. Have a running race. Watch out for the log, guys. Watch out for the dam! Oh no! <laughs> Alright! Come on now, help me out! Okay! Hold on to my trunk! And I'll pull you! Okay! I can't reach! This is not working! I better go call the others for help! Idea. Come on, guys. We've got to work together and get our friend out. Sure. 
Thank you all, but I've got to run home soon. Don't forget to get a swim in the river. Get your dirt off. Quick swim and wash and run home. Where have you been, my dear? Nowhere, Ma. I was just here, getting some air. Okay. Thank you all. 